Good morning, we're here at Lincoln School with some of the students demonstrating fitness and the need for fitness. It's important that we all take time out to exercise at least 20 minutes, 10 minutes a day. It is Tuesday by the way, so also you can exercise by picking up some trash in the city of York. But we're here promoting our Let's Move initiative, partnering with the White House and First Lady Michelle Obama's initiative to be more active, to be more physically fit. And it's important our young people learn this at an early age. And as you can see, they're already doing jumping jacks without me. So I got to get out there and help out. kids get healthy? Wow. Well, they're helping me. How about that? <laughs> All the workout and exercising we, we're doing right now in the different schools, we're just going around talking about it and encouraging kids. And I figure if they see me out there exercising, that they'll join in and we'll have some fun with it. As you can see, I'm a little sweaty right now even because we did it a little bit more than what I was used to this morning. <laughs> but I hope that the kids will then continue to do it when they leave here. Not so much get on the video uh, games and Xboxes and whatever else, but go outside and run around like we were running around in here. So we're just talking about it, encouraging good fitness. We're also encouraging, I think that's one of your next questions, so I'll wait, but encouraging people to eat better and those sorts of things too. Yeah. Um, what, what are your favorite foods? <laughs> well, they're foods that aren't really things that keep you physically fit, that's for sure. But I tr I'm trying to eat a lot better. Um, particularly this month, we had our Let's Move initiative, which is the partnership with the White House, with the First Lady, Michelle Obama. She has a Let's Move initiative that she's asked cities across America to partner with her on. And because of that, I find myself eating a lot better this month. More fruits and vegetables, um, lots of salads, but my favorite fruit since you asked is fried chicken, but I have to stay away from that because that's not really good for you, but I can eat fried chicken probably every day. <laughs> um, and um, what, if you wanted to send a message, what message would you send out to the kids at Lincoln Charter School? Okay, and that's where you attend, right, Natasha? Yes. What grade are you in? Fifth. Fifth. You'll soon be going to Baxter? Um, I'm not really sure yet. You're not really sure. Well, Lincoln Charter School kids are great kids. They're part of our public school system throughout the city. And I like coming over here because there's always a lot of high energy and kids that are really willing to get involved. They listen. They're very encouraged by their teachers and parents. I understand there's a good parent support to this school. And I would encourage them to continue to listen to authority and, and their parents and teachers eat right <laughs> stay away from the video games i didn't say stay away from fried chicken did i <laughs> stay away from the, the video games exercise run around get involved in the community help clean up the community pick up trash there's a whole lot of things i would tell the kids at lincoln charter but you guys are already great kids and doing a lot of good things so i would encourage you to keep doing those good things <laughs> all right thank you ma'am appreciate it thank you you're welcome I appreciate being a part of your fitness class today. You're going to exercise. Even though it seemed like it was fun, you guys were really exercising. 
right side of your heart. Make sure you do this all the time, every day. And tell your parents to join in with you as well, okay? Thank you, I appreciate it. You guys made me work out today. All my special helpers, thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Before coming to the White House, the President and I lived lives like most families. Two working parents, I was busy trying to maintain uh, some balance, picking kids up from school, trying to get things done at work, just too busy, not enough time. And what I found myself doing was probably making up for it and being unable to cook a good meal for my kids. Going to fast food a little more than I'd like, uh, ordering pizza, and I started to see the effects on my family, particularly my kids. It got to the point where our pediatrician basically said, you may want to make some changes. So started making those changes, short, easy changes, but they led to some really good results. So I wanted to bring the lessons that I learned to the White House. This led to our new initiative, Let's Move. Let's Move is a nationwide initiative that basically focuses on four key components. First, we want to improve information and the tools that parents need to make the changes that are desired in their families. The second is that we have to improve the quality of food in our schools. That's where kids are eating many of their meals and we have to do a better job of making sure that that food is quality. Third, we need to improve access and affordability of healthy foods. We have to eliminate food deserts in this country and we need to do it now. And finally, we have to increase physical education for our kids. We need to get them moving. And we're going to be relying a lot on uh, major sports organizations to help us achieve that goal. And we're very excited about that. Let's Move is going to take families out of their isolation and give them the nationwide support that they need in a whole range of industries to get their kids on track to live uh, healthier lives, to eat right, to get more exercise, and to be ready to face the challenges of, of the future.